In this tutorial, for new Blender users, we'll take a look at the screw modifier. It's really powerful, it's easy, it's a little tricky if you're not familiar with it, but I'll show you how easy it is. So I have this circle set up in the scene. I just added, with Shift A, I added a mesh circle like that, okay? And then I'm gonna, I'm gonna put the cursor to the center of that just so I know where it is with Shift S cursor to selected. So now my cursor is also at the center of that circle right here. So now I'm going to take the circle and I'm just going to move it off to the side a little bit. And let's say I want to spin that cir circle around like this and make a mesh. Well first thing it's going to do is it's going to just kind of copy on top of itself because it's laying flat on the plane. So before I do anything I'm going to rotate this circle on the Y axis which is green. So I'm going to press R Y 90. All right, so I've just rotated on Y, 90 degrees. All right, and then I want to spin it around here, and I need, it needs to know what axis to spin it around. So you have to give it a point where to spin it. So I'll just add the modifier, and this is the nice thing about this modifier, is that you can give it a point. Instead of always, some systems, you know, you have to revolve it around a particular location. In this, you can just revolve it around whatever object you choose. So at this location here, see it says right in here, axis, let's see if I widen this up, you can see it better. There we go, axis object, right there. So at this location where my cursor is currently located, I'm just going to put any object in the scene. I'm just going to put maybe a sphere right there. I'm going to scale it down. And that'll be the object that I want to rotate around. And then over here, this is angle is going to be how far it rotates. 360 degrees would be all the way around one time, like that. So let's change that to halfway around, 180. So it's only going to rotate halfway around. And let's pick the object, which is this sphere right there. And there it is. I've just instantly rotated around the object as easy as that is, right? So the nice thing about this is that with this object selected, you're, it's really just the circle being rotated around until I apply it. Once I apply it, it becomes this new object. But since it's not applied, I could just go into edit mode, or not in edit mode, I could just scale this on. I just scale, I'll just press S, and I'll scale it down. And as I'm scaling it down, then the whole object itself scales down. And then if I wanted to apply it, then it would apply. So I'm actually going to shift click this. I'm going to move both of them up just a little bit so they're in the scene. Alright, so you see that basic shape. Alright, I'll s grab that scale down just a little bit. And now this time I'm going to rotate it around 360 degrees. As long as I don't apply it, nothing will take effect yet. Now in here we see it's rotating it around, but now notice this, the number of steps. You can see 16 distinct steps, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, all the way back to 16. So if you want a smoother thing, you just crank it up, say, 32 steps or more, however you need for like that. And that'll change it in the render mode as well, so you can... But this is nice so you can see what's happening. And then this is where the screw modifier comes in. This basically, in this case, is going to change it on the z-axis. Z-axis for the screw. So as it's spinning, it's going to raise it up in z. So if I just start cranking this up a little bit, you can see it starts moving it around and raises it up. All right, so maybe you're making a spring. Oh, I can see I better turn my uh, mist off. I have my mist on here because I'm I like working in mist mode sometimes so I'll, I'll bring that depth out like that so I can see it a little bit better alright alright so there it is and now instead of just go, go back to the modifier and then instead of 360 we'll do say four times around that'd be 360, 720, 14, 40 1440 and there it is I've rotated around four times back to the beginning like that you can see it's running into itself so I'm going to want to change that Z level a little bit more if I want to really make a spring like that and then like I said since you're since we're still dealing with the object without applying it I'm just going to come in here close and look at this object here and I'm going to go into edit mode and there's all my vertices right there I'm going to press A and then B and maybe I'm going to wipe out half of them like this. 
I'm just going to say X those out. And so then my object is just that half sphere, and then that's what my whole thing looks like, like that. So if you were making a, uh, you know, you could make any shape like that. I could just grab this point, maybe, and go get proportional editing, and maybe use linear like this and press GY. Let me move it down so you see it's, and I'm going to sharpen up that edge just like that and then I could just bring that down and then you could just you know make it there and of course since you're rotating it around that let me leave edit mode since the things just rotating around here anyway to change the diameter I could just come in here and take this thing and move it back towards the center and then the whole thing scales down to that smaller size well Anyway, I think that probably gives you a pretty good idea as how to get started with it. So it's really about controlling the shape and all that kind of stuff. And all right, well, that's it for this lesson. And I'll see you in the next lesson.